Welcome to Kansas City. My name is Annie Chibanda. I am the chef concierge at the Intercontinental in Kansas City. This city is known as the City of Fountains, and I'd like to show you Diana, which is one of my favorite fountains in Kansas City, as it's located right in front of the hotel. It's time for me to show you more of my favorite city, so just come with me. Located directly across from us is the Country Club Plaza. It's the first outdoor shopping mall in the United States. It is a replica of Seville, Spain, as far as the Spanish architecture, the sculptures, and the fountains. The Country Club Plaza is home to several well-known designers and brand names such as Cole Haan, Burberry, Tiffany, Express, BCBG, and Betsy Johnson. There are also some local boutiques that you'll only find in Kansas City. This is Luce Park. It's just located five minutes away from the hotel. If you're coming here for a leisurely stroll or um, to do some serious jogging, this is a great setting. This is just an excellent place and it's a hidden jewel in Kansas City. Blue Sparks Rose Garden, directly behind me, hosts complimentary ballet performances over the summer. If you're in Kansas City over the summer, just contact myself or anyone on the concierge staff. We'll get you the performance times and the dates. There's exquisite dining right across the street with over 35 restaurants. Plaza 3 is within walking distance from the hotel. It is one of the top 10 steakhouses in the nation and they purchase their meat right here in Kansas City. When you come to Kansas City, most people are looking to get a great steak and we provide that here at Plaza 3. We feature prime USDA corn-fed beef all raised in the Midwest. Our most popular cuts are the filet mignon shown here and the Kansas City strip. Kansas City is the barbecue capital of the world. If you're in Kansas City, first place you need to stop is this original Arthur Bryan's, which is located on 18th and Brooklyn. Whenever I have colleagues come in town, as I have two colleagues here, I always make it a point to bring them to Bryan's barbecue. They don't cheat you on the meat, they don't cheat you on the fries. This is where I'll be can. If you come to Kansas City, you gotta come to Bryan's. This is the historic city market. It's home to authentic world cuisine, lots of restaurants that are unique to Kansas City. Along with that is the farmer's market that brings out all our local farmers with their local produce that's used in most of these restaurants surrounding us. The Crossroads District has several art galleries and music venues. If you're lucky enough to be here on the first Friday of the month, the art galleries are open till 11 p.m. and are free. You'll also get the chance to see several impromptu street performances. Just off the Country Club Plaza is the Nelson Atkins Museum. It holds over 33,000 pieces of artwork and it is one of the finest art museums in America. It is mainly known for its Asian artwork, particularly its Chinese artwork, but they're now moving towards more contemporary art with the new block building. In that building, you'll see more photography and sculptures. This is a must-see. Don't take my word for it. You need to come and see it yourself. This is Union Station in Kansas City. It's still an active station with four passenger trains daily. If you look up to the ceiling, artisans actually had to be brought in to match up the paint to restore this. Union Station is also the site of the Union Station Massacre. There was a shootout between FBI agents and mobsters. Even today, you can still see the bullet holes on the side of the building. Directly across from Union Station is the Liberty Memorial. It is a World War I memorial, and it's been around since 1921. The reason for the location is because over 70% of soldiers who fought in World War I came through Union Station in Kansas City. Directly below us is the World War I Museum. This museum is the only museum in the nation that is dedicated to World War I. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing Kansas City. I can't wait until your next visit at the Intercontinental in Kansas City so I can personally show you what Kansas City has to offer.